More than 2,000 merchants, including mom and pop shops in the heartlands, could soon be running their own virtual stores using just their mobile phones. It's part of a collaboration between Nanyang Polytechnic, Nets, and fintech firm Scash to help merchants reach out to more shoppers online. Mr. Yu Hyang Ming's jewelry business has been running since the 1970s. Despite having a steady flow of customers over the years, he knew that it wouldn't be enough if he wanted to keep his doors open in the long term, as consumer habits are changing in this digital era. So he decided to keep with the times by taking his shop online. This has proved to be pivotal, especially during the circuit breaker period. Uh, especially the COVID, after COVID-19, we see that uh, a lot of uh, uh, so-called people are actually going online. Mm. So I think this trend is, uh, is, uh, is some, something that is going to be sustained and even getting more uh, in future. So, so actually, it's something that is very important. As traditional neighbourhood shops take a massive hit during the circuit breaker period, going online could prove vital. The new ground-up initiative by Nanyang Polytechnic's Singapore Institute of Retail Studies in partnership with Scash and Nets Mobile Commerce Solution aims to help small and medium enterprises do just that. The group says the virtual store can help shop owners reach out to more customers online. They can also engage customers by offering incentives like loyalty reward points or discount vouchers. To help businesses during COVID-19, Nets says it will remove service fees Upon sign up, while S Cash will waive its monthly service fee until end 2020. NYP says will further support this initiative by providing a one day workshop to help train merchants. Senior Minister of State for Trade and Industry Chi Hong Tat says businesses must take advantage of technology and digitalization amid COVID 19. Now, we know technology is not everything, but not knowing how to use technology will be a great handicap. This has always been an important enabler to transform our economy. COVID-19 has now added one more priority for us, very, very urgent priority for us, which is how to use technology to enable businesses to continue to operate safely while at the same time being able to earn revenue so that you can continue to serve your customers and remain commercially viable. Some experts say that going online is the way forward in the long run although the transition may not be easy. Some of the challenges may include not having um, um, the right devices, right? Obviously, it is more optimal to use a laptop so that they can uh, toggle around, right? The app as well as the, uh, uh, the learning deck. Um, so some of them use handphone. So we have to work around uh, you know, the usage of devices. NYP says it's using online channels like webinars to engage SMEs to climb on board its new initiative. It says it will work with its partners to reach out to more merchants once the circuit breaker measures are lifted.